Hi, welcome to the Roofers Coffee Shop, our club roofer of the month podcast. This is where we highlight a contractor in our art club each month to celebrate their greatness in the roofing industry. Listen to hear more about a great contractor. Hello everyone, my name is Megan Ellsworth, back with a Roofer of the Month interview, and today I am interviewing our May Roofer of the Month, Wendy Marvin, owner and CEO of Matrix Roofing. Hey, Wendy. Yay, hey, Megan. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, so glad to have you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, to start out, we're going to just have you tell us a little bit about yourself and Matrix Roofing, how you guys got started, all that good stuff. Oh, okay. Well, um, founded the company in 2007 and um, just kind of on the principle of having some really bad contractor experiences mm. and just thinking that we could do things differently. And so, um, you know, opened in the middle of the recession, which was brilliant and stupid all at the same time. <laughs> and uh, we survived, which is good. And um, yeah, we've just, I, I'm just so, I just love our industry. And I'm so happy that, you know, that construction is such an amazing place to, to work and be. And um, yeah, so we've just kept going. Um, I'm just thankful we you know, we, we found it on customer service and, and have had people um, continue to call even during the pandemic. And, you know, obviously now construction is going crazy, but right. um, yeah, yeah, it's just, I'm very thankful to be part of our industry for sure. That's awesome. Um, I did not know that you guys founded during the recession. That must have been an interesting experience. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're just dumb when you're when you're new, and, and <laughs> thank goodness that you know we survived because um, they uh, it, it was it was rough. You know, we we started the company because we were doing side jobs and some other things, you know, and um, and just were like, yeah, we can we can make a business out of this. Funny story on that part is um, so my family are all very. Um, just you work for one company they're very loyal they mm. retire from the right company and so at the time that we founded the company with my ex and I he was a state employee for Washington and had all these benefits and I was a 20-year employee for Kaiser Hospitals oh, and so right. when we made this decision to change my family lost thought we'd lost our minds they were <laughs> like you are not being responsible parents and what are you thinking and you're walking away from all this and I don't know, we just kind of had that entrepreneurial spirit and felt like we, we wanted to make a difference and that we could be different, and I'm thankful it all worked out. There's a lot of there's a lot of chance that goes into that. You don't get to take a lot of credit for succeeding in those early days. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. Um, well, that's fabulous. So what kind of services does Matrix provide? What's your specialty? Well, roofing, first and foremost, um, <laughs> you know, we, we, we primarily work in residential. Um, we do small commercial just because as you grow, you know, you get a base and then somebody has a commercial building and they're like, we love you. Would you do this too? And so, but we, we really like the, the focus on residential. I love working with homeowners. Um, I'm really passionate, you know, in that customer service vein is just to, to kind of empower our customers to make really good decisions without baffling them with the BS that some contractors like to load on to them. And so um, it's just a really rewarding area to work. Um, people get bids for roofs and they don't know if it's supposed to cost them 5000 or 15000 Right. And, you know, you just try to empower them to make good decisions and then help them understand the process. And, and, and it's a hidden thing that we do. So we really try to be transparent about what we're doing. And again, just love that, love that connection with the average homeowner that's just not typically very educated about our process. For sure, for sure. So you would say that you mostly do residential, you said? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, probably, I want to say 70-30. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the primary focus of our business. But nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm excited for this next question because I, I know you're just going to have a fabulous answer. Um, <laughs> what is something that your company celebrates, whether that's literally celebrating like employees' birthdays or celebrating, you know, um, something that you all really cherish in an, in an employee, like maybe they give back or, or um, just tell me, what do you guys 
cherish and celebrate over there at Matrix? Um, definitely giving back in community. Um, so, you know, a lot of our people that are employed are on boards around the community. Um, we, we love the community of our family inside the company. Um, and then, you know, the diversity of it too, we really like, um, we've got a lot of people that have diverse backgrounds and we'd like to find ways to try to celebrate, you know, their particular beliefs. Um, and just kind of that inclusiveness. We, re- we really love that part of it. The, the community is, is yeah. just kind of the foundation of it. Love it. Inclusiveness and community. That is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a big deal right now. You know, there's, there's sure. such a shortage in workers right now. And, you know, the, the days of somebody wanting to stick around with an uh, employer that verbally abuses them or is rude yeah. or condescending it's like you know you just have to be something different and mm-hmm. we've got roofers that have been with us some of them for eight years you know or more yeah. and that I, I'm really proud of that you know we still we're still losing people just like everybody else and yeah <laughs> there's people that just are chasing the dollar and that's you know that's not typically our our main focus but um but it does make a difference to try to be a good company for somebody to work for yeah it totally does make a difference and I feel like you know, people in your area can tell that you guys strive to make that difference in your community, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's paid off, for sure. (laughs) Yay. (laughs) Um, So in, like, one to five words, how would you define superior customer service? Listen to your customer. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> Perfect. That was four words. <laughs> there you go. I'm so proud of me. Yeah, it's it's not about you. And I and I think that's where a lot of contractors get lost is mm-hmm. you know, it's about me and what I can do for you and how it's gonna work and how wonderful I am and it's like it's not about you. It's about them and their home and trying to find somebody that they trust in an industry that is typically very untrustworthy. And, um, and I mean, construction in general, not just roofing, but right. you know, people get, people have horror stories. You, you talk to anybody, neighbors and friends and family, everybody has a horror story about construction and you know, it's, it's just about earning their trust and, and having them, um, care enough about you to work with you. And yeah, that's, that's a big deal. For sure. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want, as a homeowner, you don't want, you know, to hire someone and just have them tell you how it's going to be. You know, you want to have a, 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 a say in what's going on top of your home. So for sure. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, to a point, exactly. The other thing to say, Megan, is just that don't discount the females in the relationship. Yes. Because, you know, if you're thinking you're going to talk to the man and have the man make the decisions, you're losing a big part of your market. Because mm-hmm. the, the ladies are a big part of this. And, and they're people are becoming more educated. Obviously Google is, is our, our biggest bane and our biggest, you know, boon in right. terms of, um, education. But, um, but, you know, people will ask intelligent questions and, you know, we just try to find out in the, in the sales process and even the intake process, what's important to them. Sometimes it's just money. Sometimes it's longevity. Sometimes they're selling and they don't really care. They just want to get out as fast as they can. And, you know, there's there's so many variables there, and if you listen to what they're telling you, it gives you the clues on how to fill fill their needs. Wow, I couldn't have said it better. That was beautiful. Yes, so oh, true, so you. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is my last question. Um, why should homeowners or building owners work with Matrix? What makes you guys different? Um. You know, again, I just think we have that customer-centric focus where, you know, I understand the difference in a realtor relationship if you're the buying realtor or you're the selling realtor um, because we listen to our customers. And, you know, we try not to price gouge. Um, roofing is crazy. Like, you know, I mentioned that five to 25000 right. That could be for the same house. <laughs> and, you know, typically the 5000 is a new guy in the market that doesn't have a lot of overhead, and the 25000 is someone that's making a $10,000 profit on a roof. And we're somewhere in the middle, you know, I, I want to have a, a community with our, with our people that we've done roofs for. And if I see you in the grocery store, I don't want to have to duck to another aisle. <laughs> I just, you know, want to, want to have a good relationship with you. And, and I think that I've heard so many contractors over the years talk about how roofer roofing is just a one-off, right? Yeah. Like I'll never do another roof for you because it's a 30 year product and who cares? I'm going to get all the money I can. And 
I'm right. here to tell you, you know, if you if you care and you and you sh- and you show that and you are different, um, I've done three and four roofs for customers, um, and wow. you know, they move, they they refer, they buy rentals. So it's about creating relationships, and and we're really interested in having the long term relationship with our customers. Yes, yes, and that is what sets you apart. That's great. Um, well, I actually, I lied. I have one more question. (laughs) Um, I just am wondering, you know, any last words on being roofer of the month? What will you do with your title? (laughs) This is world renowned. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. I, I'm so proud. I, you know, the, the, the other roofers that you guys have named as roofers of the month, holy moly, I don't even deserve being in the same room with them. Oh, and, yes, you uh, do. That, it, it means a lot. Um, it really means a lot coming from you guys just in the fact of what Roofers Coffee Shop gives to the industry and, you know, the fact of how many people you guys come in contact with. So thank you for the honor. We are definitely going to market the heck out of it and, uh, yes. and have a conversation about, you know, what it means and, and you know, how we met you just engaging with our community in mm-hmm. the, on the roofing side. And, um, yeah, I just, we're, we're really thankful and, and appreciate the fact that you guys recognized our company. So glad. Well, you guys definitely deserve it. And you specifically really deserve it. You're, you show up and um, show out to everything that Roofer Co- Roofer's Coffee Shop has to offer. And we're so thankful for you as well. So thank you, Wendy. And congratulations on being Roofer of the Month. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. And I will chat with you all next month for June's Roofer of the Month. For more, go to RoofersCoffeeShop.com and become an R-Club member. If you're a contractor in the roofing industry, we want to hear from you. Join our forums and connect with other contractors near you.